Mexico was challenging. Mayday, mayday, mayday. No, not that, but... Dude, I hope you'll let us in. These aren't the droids you're looking for. And even though we brought our own dive instructor, we had to overcome these challenges to get Leela Scuba certified in Mexico. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Challenge number one. No one would rent a scuba tanks. Pretty much every single dive shop refused to rent dive tanks. And so now we're on a mission to overcome that obstacle. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. It's hard to believe a couple days ago, we were in Utah, it was minus 62 degrees. And now we're here in the middle of winter in Tulum, Mexico. Why do we stay in winter places when it's winter? You're not very small at all here. Not many years ago, the only thing here was the dive shop, and this is just burst into a tourist place. We are actively in search for dive tank, and I think we are going to make it this time. You know how I can tell? The road's bumpy to get to this one. This is a dive shop here. Renting a tank here in Tulum, Mexico, where we are, is really a big deal. You have to be an instructor, apparently, in most places to rent a tank for, they say, liability reasons, but mostly I think they just want to you know, gouge you as much as possible. Hey man, that's not cool. Because of uh, the Spanish speakers that I have with me, they have talked to everybody. We found a place. This is called Easy Chango. It's not exactly on the beach. Should go to the pit. This really amazing place, deep dive, cenote diving. It feels like you're flying around. We found a pretty cool restaurant side of the road in Tulum, just off the, off the main drag. We got good food. I got some tacos, something. And she's got camarones con ajo. It's not terrible. It's good. And the mojitos, baby. Your first few scuba lessons are usually in a pool or at least very calm water. We couldn't find one, so we explored other options. This cenote was near our condo, so we checked it out. It looked great, but there was a minor issue. We are going to plan B to try to find, to see the crocodile. We saw him when we first came up here, but we didn't realize he was there, so we ran away, so... Plan B. We're chumming for crocodiles. Brad's a professional. Here, crocodiles! <laughs> Trying to find a place to do dive lessons in Cozumel, Mexico. Where are we? We can't check the, the Yucatan Palenza. But it's a little harder than we thought. We found this little cenote here. It's called uh, Playa Esmeralda. And it's, it's only that big. But it's deep enough, it's kind of our backup. We might go diving with a crocodile against the rules a little bit, maybe, instead. We'll see. It's actually kind of a hidden gem. We're in Playa del Carmen, and it's this beautiful beach. It looks like it's all it's all locals. And it's just the, like oh, white, God, white me, sand, is, palm trees. This has been the most interesting, unique beach that we have seen. And the best thing about this, nobody's charging you to get in here. This has been my favorite location so far, so worth it. We're right by the beach in Playa del Carmen right now, and this is the tourist zone. It's like lights and people in restaurants and guys pitching you stuff, but it's, it's actually pretty nice here. Okay, sometimes I can't believe that I thought it was a great idea. I'm just freaking scared right now, really bad. Maybe it's because we're, we are gonna start swimming my first time. Scuba diving is gonna be with a crocodile. So far, every time that I've done something that scares me like really bad, I come out saying it wasn't that bad. Just I have to keep saying seek discomfort, seek discomfort, because literally like, yeah, I'm that scared. Gotcha. These are Leela's first <laughs> breaths as a scuba diver. I just finished. I was so freaking afraid and I just had the best experience of my life. A whole new world. There was one point when Brad and I had the GoPros down there 
and I just flipped it to like look at the world. I've only seen that from pictures and I got to see it in real life now. The hardest part of the whole thing was getting out of the cenote. She's like an official scuba diver. She did awesome. She was super comfortable. Good the job. most important thing I would say is you have like people that are like unbelievably talented and the right instructors. I, I had a pair to say this. Trevor was bummed because he couldn't dive with us the cenote because we were unclear of how we were going to be able to get everybody out. Brad is very, very cautious when he's instructing. Sometimes in life he's less cautious, which have been some of my most fun adventures in my life. She has completed stage one, two, and three. We just have to do an ocean dive now, and she's good for the go. How'd she do? Was she like kind of tough or was she okay? So, so initially she was a little bit nervous, and I have no idea why. With the crocodile, deep cenotes, we're not, we're not permitted to be here to begin with. To be here. <laughs> but besides all that. And, and we had to buy a rope so we could make sure we could get out of the cenote. I haven't thought about Karis this much since we lost her trap. This was way scariest to ever. I don't know why. I was scared to freaking jump in that water even though I had a scuba vest and everything on. I don't think I've ever spent like two days like when we went to the nude beach okay like about a half an hour before we got there it was like kind of crazy <laughs> like oh my gosh I can't do this and life is good it's not over yet and you just keep living every day. Thank you for just being an enduring person. I had to go hunt the crocodile last night and kill him just so he wouldn't eat us today but Bienvenidos a Lolha. After a good four plus hours in the water, you need some really amazing food to fuel you. I just asked where the banya was, and this is what I was given. Please use bathroom tickets to identify yourself as a restaurant client. The reason we speak in Spanish with que pasa? There was a king a long time ago that would have a leaf and... <laughs> <laughs> See, I can say it in a straight face. You moved here. Yes. And you live here now full time. Okay. How, how the freak did you do that? Like, I know you're a dive instructor. I think that what drove me to stay here is my passion for diving. <laughs> Perfect. The type of diving that I do, cape, which is cave diving, yeah. it's pretty much the best place in the world to do it. This is weird. They're putting us in the belly of the beast. Why, Brad? Hey, you can't go up there, lady. A ferry here in Mexico is not that much different from one of the states. Got a bunch of seats down here, car stay below. You, you have nice staff right here. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Silvia, Patricia. Silvia, what do you want to see yet? The only real difference between this and a ferry in the States is, see that ramp right there? The cars get a running start down that way, and they go up this ramp, and they jump up over that, and they land on the landing area over there. That's that's how they disembark. But behind that, it's, it's almost the same as the States. And sometimes you find super hot girls sunbathing up here. So here to my left, covered up, are the ancient system of light floats. The modern day passenger vessels are required to have a set amount of light boats or life rafts. Only the grandfathered in vessels are allowed to even carry these for any reason. It's basically a styrofoam outer shell with a net in between, and that's called a fast rescue craft. If anybody falls overboard, by the time they turn the ship around and retrieve them, they can actually launch that even quicker buzz out there, rescue somebody, and bring them back. Here's one thing I have not seen on a ferry in the United States. This is pretty cool, we just crash out. This is a ferry from Khalifa to Cozumel, and we figured it'd be easier to take the car, so we're bringing the car on this one. There are other ferries where you can't bring your car, but here's something like 56 bucks for three of us and the car one way, and they've got room for some big vehicles. The bathrooms are a little different. There's, we wash our hands, and they got these nice, Nice private stalls. Food is available on the cruise ship. When I say food, I mean you get like coffee and snacks, but it's something if you're starving that I just say cruise ship, I'm in on the ferry. I think it's because I just saw cruise ships and see if you can see them out the window here. For a massive ship on calm seas, this is really rocky. In a few minutes, it's going to happen right there. A couple days ago, we spent a lot of time trying to find a place to dive where we need a guide and pay me a million dollars just to jump in the water. Last night in Alcamal, we met a dive instructor from Spain named Ivo, and he told us about this place on Cozumel Cal Tequila. It's just a little restaurant bar here, and you can just jump right out there and swim like right out to the reefs without anybody asking any questions. And not only that, but we're about to have food here too, so we're, we're super excited, man. It is a miracle, but we somehow made the ferry after Brad and I had the most epic dive ever Leela 
did a beach dive. Leela got sick on the beach dive. What'd you just take? Oh, my final exam. The written part, past all the water stuff, just has this final and, oh, I see some red. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Did you pass? I did. Certified scuba diver right there. Now the fun begins. Only took me 27 years to get a certified. But hey, life begins at age 59. What have we here? The blight card. It's about to not be you. Woo, woo, woo. Good job. Kind of a bummer, but yesterday we were diving Cozumel, some of the most beautiful diving in the world, and I filmed it on my GoPro, and now my GoPro's at the bottom of the ocean at about 60 feet. But we're doing another dive here in Acomal, this time with my wife. She's not as sick as she was yesterday. Elise is not choppy seas today, and Elise, Leela never gets seasick. What? Let's go! A few moments later. I said the fish is a little bit low. I saw like the most magnificent world that never even knew existed. Just a little seasick. That was Leela's first boat dive. And uh, she survived. She puked underwater just a little bit. And this is the view. I won't regret this, right? To see our biggest adventure yet, click right here.